In the last lecture, we had a problem with our generic search method. It worked fine when we were looking through an array of integers. It found the 9 in this array. It worked great when we were looking for the word elk inside of this array. But when we looked for this circle, it couldn't find it inside this array of circle objects, even though this one seems as if it should match. Let's run it and see what happens. And sure enough, 9 and elk are found, but the circle isn't. It gives back an index of negative 1. The solution to this problem took a little bit of investigation. And here's our solution. Let's take a look at circle.java and let's look at our equals method. Our equals method compares the current circle to some other circle object and that's where our problem lies. When we did our generic search and we did our search method with a circle object, it was calling the equals method. But it was not calling this equals method at all. Look at the signature. Here's the name and our data type is circle. When we call the equals method for an object, we need to override the equals method in the object class and it takes an object as its parameter. It's a different signature. That means that when we called equals with circle, this method got totally ignored and we were actually calling the one in the object class and that does a comparison to see if the references are the same. This circle is a completely different object from this circle and they have different references. Doesn't matter that they have the same x, y, and radius. The object class is comparing only the references and that's our problem. To solve the problem, we had to rewrite the equals method to make sure it does the correct override. And in fact, I put override in here to make sure that the compiler would double check my work. Now, my signature matches the one in the object class. But because it's a plain old object and not a circle, we have to check if this other variable really is a member of the circle class. That's what this code does. If the other thing that I'm comparing against is an instance of a circle, it's OK to do the comparison. Otherwise, we'll return false right away. If I'm trying to compare, say, a circle to a rectangle, there's no possibility that they're ever going to match, so we immediately reject it. Once I determine that my other object is an instance of circle, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cast. I'm going to tell the compiler, hey, it's OK to treat this object as though it were a circle. And then I can assign it to a true circle object. And then I can return a Boolean that tells me if the x, y, and radius are within the correct tolerance of one another. That's what the equalish method does. Now, when I call equals, I'm going to be calling the equals not in the object class, but the equals that's in the circle class. This happens to be just one time that polymorphism came back and bit me. And this is one place where I had to be extra, extra careful. And so do you. If you are creating a new class and you want to implement an equals method, make sure that you do the correct override and that the thing that you are comparing for equality is an object, not the class that you happen to be working in.